gotta eat, honey. We gotta eat. Good girl. Good girl, Sophie. It's a good girl. We just gotta eat some hay, honey. That's gonna be the best thing for you. Good girl. So Sophie's still here, as you can see. We've been working on her a lot. Hi, baby. I know. You still feel kind of yucky. You still got some fight in you, though, baby. So I've got her set up with some hay, water. We just cleaned out the trailer for like the multi millionth time. She's still got scours, which is diarrhea. <clears throat> so we're treating. Just keeping her hydrated, trying to get that good bacteria in her gut. So I've been giving her, per the vet's uh, recommendation, she's getting daily B complex, which has thiamine in it, which he told us was extremely important in the uh, function of the rumen, and it should help with her appetite. So we've pretty much got her on daily B complex until her she's back to eating normal. And, hi baby, I know, I know. You just love the face snuggles. I know, honey, I know. And then I'm giving her probiotics each day. Yogurt, she's getting at least a cup of yogurt, which I've actually been, I've got, it's plain unsweetened yogurt, but I'm adding honey to it. There's a lot of good stuff in honey. Antibacterial properties. And uh, so I've been giving her that. Started adding cinnamon as well. Cinnamon, I love to give cinnamon to my chicks to give them a boost and um, still giving her some charcoal, some activated charcoal. Try and soak up any toxins that might still be present in her stomach and just monitoring her. Yesterday was a really good day. Um, it's been a few days, so by the time you guys have seen this, uh, today is, it's only been like uh, two days, three days, no. I think we pumped her Thursday, yes. So it's only, it's today is Saturday, so it's only been two days since the vet was actually out here. Um, it will have been almost a week so whenever you guys are seeing this. But um, as of today, it's only been two days since he pumped her stomach yesterday. Whenever I went to check on her in the evening, because I, I check on her multiple times throughout the day, but I try not to bug her. I try to let her relax undisturbed. In the morning, whenever I went in to check on her, she, I could see she was nibbling on some hay, which I was like, that's good. And I showed her, I offered her the yogurt because I've been having to syringe it into her mouth. She's swallowing, so I don't have to worry about that. But she started to lick the yogurt. And she did it like, a, like I think she got like a good two, two or three licks and then she kind of lost interest. And I'm like, that's okay. So I, I syringed her the yogurt and she ate, she ate it all. But then in the evening when I came back to check on her, I saw multiple holes in the hay and she was eating hay and I set down the yogurt and she started lapping up the yogurt. So that was a good sign. Today she's a little bit, a little bit back down. I don't know if, maybe she's already eaten this morning and I just didn't see it. That's kind of the difficult thing about it is I, I'm, not able, I'm not able to be out her, here with her 24 seven watching what she's doing. I can just kind of give her her stuff try to keep something of a tab on how much she's consuming just by how much I see is gone. And she, she's still, I mean, you can see she's still kind of, she's interested, she's wanting to, she's wanting to go out. <laughs> Sorry, honey, we can't have you eating a whole bunch of grass when your stomach's still upset. We gotta get your stomach under control before we can let you have that grass. You gotta be on hay, baby. Hay is gonna be the best thing for her getting her rumen back into normal function. She needs that roughage. So I know it's not, it's not, it's not your fancy hay that you normally get. I know, I know, baby. I'm sorry, honey. I know. Here, I'll scratch behind your horns. I know you like that. Oh yeah, that feels good. So we're just gonna keep fighting. She's got fight left. She wants to fight. She wants to live. So I'm gonna keep fighting with her. I'm gonna do everything I can to help you feel better again and back to normal. We'll get you back out to the herd. I know you're ready to go back out there, baby. I know, I know. I want us in the face snuggle with you too, but not until you're better again, okay? Oh, yes. <laughs> I know you, Sophie. We're gonna make you feel better, baby. I promise. We're working hard, honey. We're gonna make you feel better. 
Nice, my sweet girl. All right, you relax, eat hay. So today is transplant day, and I've got a bunch of green beans that I've started. Some of them are in not the best shape, but they still got new growth coming in, so I'm gonna give them a chance. Leon's got a basket full of seeds. So we're gonna try and get this stuff planted today. We probably won't get all of these seeds planted, but I'm just be happy if we can get these green beans transplanted out here. We could not find our stakes that have the string. I think they're in my car, which is at the shop. So we're using a measuring tape to carve out our straight line for our guide. So I'm gonna start working. Unfortunately, my camera died yesterday, but we're out here. It's a pulling morning. We're back out at the garden. I just remulched this section, and basically, I'm going to slowly work my way across the garden, remulching the area that I previously mulched, pulling up the grass, and then we're going to start expanding into what's now, as you can see in the back, covered in tarp. So, we got all the green beans planted. Unfortunately, some of them did not survive the transplant, which typically you don't start green beans. Um, I was just kind of trying out something, seeing if I could. Typically you just direct sow green beans, but I'm actually about to direct sow a bunch of green bean seeds right into this row right here next to them so we can get kind of a, a bit of a space and gap and I don't have to do all the canning at once. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these planted. Leon! Yeah? You wanna help me, bud? I need to place all of these green beans before I plant them. You want to help me? Here, why don't you go ahead and grab the whole tray and bring it over here. Careful not to let the seeds fall out, okay? Come on, hurry, right, next one. So if you guys recall, we grew loofah last year and it kind of took over the, the arch trellis where we had a bunch of things growing, which was not, I mean, the rest of it had died from the flooding so it was fine, it didn't like kill anything, but look what's already popping up. We've got three volunteer loofah, actually we had a big huge pile of them, I actually thinned them out. Um, I'm gonna let these three grow, I probably honestly should just go ahead and cut one of these back because it'll take over very fast. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna pull up the smallest one. We don't need, we don't need that many. Got that. I've got some uh, seed starts at the house and I'm actually gonna plant some more. Maybe I'll show you guys how I do my soil blocks. I think that'll be a great video to do, but um, I'll show you guys what all we got planted at the house here in a moment. Back at the house, thought I'd go ahead and share with you guys the seed starts that I've got going on right now. So. I've got more seeds, and I know I'm late in the season, but the great thing about Florida is we have an extremely long growing season, so a lot of this stuff shouldn't have any issues. I might have to deal with some pre pest pressure, but I can work with that, we can work with that. So first off, I've got, I ran out of room for soil blocks, so I've got some in this. So this is actually some old butternut squash seeds that I just kind of planted on a whim. They might not germinate, we're gonna see. I think I planted five in here, so if I can get one to sprout, we good to go. So in here I've got green bell peppers. I've got a bunch of ground cherries. I'm excited to get some ground cherries planted and actually growing this time because last year they got flooded. I've got a whole bunch of Roma tomatoes. Basically from this over is Roma tomatoes and that is so that we can can. I actually planted an additional two rows in the back. I've got two rows of okra back there um, and those are Clemson spineless. Uh, the ground cherries that I have are Molly's from Baker Creek Seeds. 
And then of course Roma, um, I've got some banana peppers, some Madu raw melon, these are old seeds. They might not sprout, it's on a whim, they need to get used up. If they're gonna sprout, I need to use them anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and get those going. Then we've got a bunch of tomatoes, including, um, got some, I think I planted a lot of purple Cherokee tomatoes because they're one of my favorites. So I planted those. I got some Brad's Atomic Grape. I've got some more ground cherries. And then I've also got some Amish paste tomatoes as well to go with the Roma. We're trying out our hands on the Amish paste tomatoes to see how those go. Great for making soup, um, uh, tomato sauce for spaghetti, as well as tomato paste, stewed tomatoes. So we're gonna use those a lot for that as well. That is what we got going on. Hopefully these will get sprouted in the next week week and a half and we'll get these transplanted out to the garden and i'm going to try another a new trellising method for the tomatoes which should be awesome so we'll see next time hopefully hope, hopefully hopefully we can get a garden going that would be amazing